Trump told Steph Curry and his Golden State Warriors that their invitation to the White House no longer stands. Trump also said at a rally wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners, when somebody disrespects our flag, to say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now. Out. He is fired. He's fired. Baron Davis, a former NBA player who never sniffed a championship loves attention. Just last season he played for the NBA D-League looking to keep his name in the headlines. This time his yearning for relevance came out in a weak tweet. Davis thought he blasted the president, but something funny happened on the way to Trollville. Shouldn't it be you or not your Baron? Also, if you look up dumbass in the dictionary you find it is a noun meaning a thoroughly stupid person, blockhead. So, Davis who can't spell, is calling a man who made millions of dollars over his amazing career and then went on to win the presidency despite mega odds against him a dumbass. Sorry, Baron that's an air ball. LeBron James called President Trump a bum in his Twitter tantrum. LeBron crying about something and lashing out? Nothing new there. But what is new and worth looking at is the response Chris Paul had to Trump. Paul, now a Houston Rocket, known mostly for his years with the Los Angeles Clippers, during which time the overrated team never got close to a title, may have actually threatened the President of the United States. So what does that mean, Chris? If Trump did say the same things to their face, are you suggesting physical harm to a 71-year-old man who happens to be the Commander-in-Chief? Please clarify. Should Trump buy extra state farm insurance? Are you another rocket man we must keep an eye on? It's comical to see how upset all these athletes appear to be over Trump's use of son of a bitch. Is that the worst thing they've ever heard? Do you still take Trump literally all the time? Do you not understand that to many New Yorkers and non-PC people son of a bitch could simply mean guy? If he actually meant son of a bitch, Trump would have been referring to a female dog, who no doubt would have already been snuffed out by Mike Vick, another favorite of this particular crowd. Stop with the literal translations when it suits you. Curry's bud say you can't disinvite someone who already said he wasn't going somewhere. Well, actually you can. Just because Curry previously said he would likely not attend a White House gathering, doesn't mean Trump couldn't leave the invitation open. When Steph went low, Trump went high. This is a classic case of the left playing with semantics to fit a narrative. That's Trump's opinion. He can't force the firing of a player. Yet, this somehow is lost on these oh so tech savvy athletes. Many Americans are disgusted by the behavior of players in the NBA and NFL Trump feels the same way. Draymond Green of the Warriors also opined that sentiment sums up all of this craziness. Donald Trump doesn't run our country. We the people run our country. These ball players don't understand that.
Trump does. It's exactly why he won the presidency. Still, NBA and NFL stars will instead keep on tweeting their dismay. It's no wonder they don't understand that the president doesn't run the country. The last president, their idol, usurped the constitution and shunned the other branches of government again and again. You want to protest? Go right ahead. It's not your protest that the president is speaking out against, rather where and how it is being conducted. The White House visit for champions is an honor. So many players never get the chance. As for the kneelers, our flag and those who died for our country have zero to do with any police shooting, hurt feelings over Hillary's loss, or anything of the sort. Jim Brown and many other NFL stars did their social justice thing back in the day, but never during the athletic events they participated in. Never did they blatantly disrespect our flag. People are in the seats to see a ball game, not to hear your politics, keep kneeling and we'll stop watching. Unlike Trump, most of these players would have a hard time making any money outside of professional sports. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell weighed in too. He called Trump's remarks divisive. Goodell, the man who embraced Vic, Ben Roethlisberger and a full crop of thugs in his league, should probably worry about his own performance. During his tenure the mighty NFL has been wounded by Goodell's ridiculous rule changes, his love of Europe, his obsession with playing Thursdays, and yes, largely by his silent approval of the anti-American antics of Colin Kaepernick and others. The same Among Us interpreted President Trump's comments as outrage against those who disrespect our flag, the White House, and our country. Liberals as they so often do, screamed racism. Athletes then repeated the nonsense. It's not that hard of an equation to figure out. And sadly, those hell bent on damaging Trump will never stop their asinine attacks. At least not until Chris Paul or Baron Davis lead a team to a championship. So, they'll never stop.